Hey everybody, this is Ken. I'm working on my 46 Ford today and removing the windshield. It's got some cracks. Had the same crack on the driver's side. I don't know why, but I guess that might be a stress point. But uh, I thought it'd be a difficult thing. I looked on YouTube at the videos, I downloaded some instructions. It's not difficult. It really isn't. Let me show you how to do it on this side. First, I started with the driver's side and I pulled this rubber free on the driver's side. Now the gasket is identical, only reversed on the driver's side, so this piece is on the inside. So there's no channel for the driver's side to fit in on this rubber, so if you just pull it out like this, it comes right out of the driver's side window. So I would start with the driver's side, but do the same thing that I'm gonna do on this side. You wanna take a plastic tool, Stuff it in your gasket, run it all the way around. That loosens it up from the metal frame. You do the same thing on the inside. So let me go inside there and do that. All right, that's not nearly as easy because you don't have much room to work. On the inside, there's a lip that hangs down right here, and a dash right here, but you can get it. Just, just loosen it up a little bit. Then we're gonna use some WD-40, and we're gonna put it up in the channel. Make sure it's all loose. You got nothing there. Looks good. That's just going to help the rubber molding as we push it in. These these windows are put in from the inside out, and we're going to take it out by pushing it in. But one of the things we got to do so this window just doesn't fall down in and break. Even though it's already broke, we could just hammer it and get it out of there. But uh, I'm going to show you how to do it without breaking it. I'm going to take some painter's tape. Now the purpose of that tape is just to keep the windshield from falling once we get it worked loose. So we're going to start right here in the edge and our intent is to just to get it below the lip and get it started in there. This will be your hardest part here, this, this portion right here. But it will go. It actually just started to go in there. I'm just pulling this tool along and shoving this one up in there. Pushing the lip of the rubber behind the edge of the cab here, edge of the windshield. It's the exact process I did for that side. I'm 
going to continue this all the way around. When I get to about here, it's going to come real easy. Probably I'll just need to give it a little push and it'll probably fall in. All right, this one's already moving. Uh, the driver's side was a little bit tighter against here, so a little bit tougher to get started and moved in. But this one is already falling inside. And there it goes. That's actually free now. It's being held up by my tape. Let's see if we can break the bottom lip free. It's holding on right there. Here's our window. We didn't break it even with the crack there. We still came out unbroken. We could reuse that seal if we wanted to. Of course we're not going to, but that's how to get a window out. Alright, that front window was absolutely terrible in showing you what I was doing. So I'm going to show you right here, a little bit of a close-up. We're just sticking our pry tool under the rubber and then we're pulling it past the lip. And what I was doing with this tool was I was trying to push the rubber under the lip just to get it started. I don't know if you can see that, but I was using this tool to push it under the lip. And once you get it started, you can progress down along the, the row here. I'm going to use a little wider tool here to get it started. There we go. See how that goes under there? I'm just going to keep doing it all along the window. So that's what I was doing up front. We're going to do that all the way around the back window. It'll come right out just like the front one did. Later.